Hi, do you want to know how to create a countdown timer for quizzes and test in Storeline 360? Well, in this video I'll show you step by step how to set up a countdown timer in Storeline 360 with triggers only and no JavaScript needed. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. So I have a new storyline project and let's build the countdown timer. So the first step is to create two variables in storyline. To do this, I click on the right hand side of my screen on the variables icon. Now the variables window opens and now I click on the green plus sign to create my first variable. And my first variable is called minutes and type is number and the default value is a blank for now. So you'll see that I've created my first variable. So now I'll add a second variable. I click the green plus sign again and you probably guessed it, but the second variable is called seconds. It's also a number variable and the default value is uh, 60 seconds for now. And I click on OK. And now I click on OK again. Do you want to know more about variables and how variables work in Articulate Storyline? I've added the link to my video about variables in the card at the right. And you can also find the link to this video in the description below this video. Now I've created my two variables for my countdown timer. And the next step is to create the timer itself. I'll do this on the master slide. So the countdown timer is visible on my in my whole project. So I'll go to my view tab, click on it and open slide master and select the top slide master in the slide master view. And now I'll create a new layer. I'm going to use this layer as a timer. So I click on new here layer called layer timer. And I'll change the duration of this layer to one second by dragging this gray bar to one. And this layer will be my timer object in Articulate Storyline. And now I'll create a trigger that each time the layer ends, Storyline subtracts one of my variable seconds. And I also create a trigger that when the layer ends, Storyline will hide this layer and show the same layer again. So let's first create the subtract trigger. So I click on trigger. This will Adjust variable, adjust variable seconds, and it's not set, but it's subtract one from, from seconds when timeline ends on this layer. So that's my first trigger. And my second trigger is a, a trigger that says hide layer, which layer, this layer where the timeline ends. And I also need a third trigger that shows my uh, timer layer again when it's hidden. So my third trigger will be show layer, which layer, this layer, and not when, ti yeah, when timeline ends on this layer. So Storyline executes these uh, triggers in the right order. So it first subtracts one from seconds when the timeline ends, then it will hide this layer where the timeline ends. And next it will show this layer where the timeline ends. So storyline hides it and shows it again. So it creates a loop for the seconds timer. So each time it ends, it will subtract one from seconds. So this is our timer for the countdown timer. And now I need one last trigger on the base layer of my master slide to initially show this layer for the first time. So I'll say show layer, which layer, timer, when slide, and it will timeline starts on this slide. And now we can see if it is, if this works. So I'll go to my variables. You, you see, I have set the seconds variable to a default value of 60. Now I can add a text box with a reference to the variable. So I'll go to my insert tab click on text box, draw a text box on my screen, go to my insert tab again, 
click on reference and select my second timer uh, variable and click on OK. So now let's close the master slide view. I'll go to slide master. I close this view. I double click the slide to go to my slide view. I will add a new slide, a blank slide, and now I'll preview this scene to see if my timer works. So preview scene. It's generating a preview right now. And you see my timer works. And if I go to the next slide, the timer works again. If I go to the first and the time will count and count. So this timer works. It counts down from 60 to zero. And it also works if I jump from, from one page to another. Now let's add the triggers for our minutes timer. And I also add these triggers to my master slide. So I'll go to view again and open my slide master. And I click the slide master view. And now I'll go to my timer layer. And I'll add a new trigger here that subtracts a one from the variable minutes on the condition that my second variable is less than zero. And then I must reset the second variable to uh, 59 again to start a new minute. But first the minutes trigger. So I'll adjust my variable and I say subtract one from minutes when the timeline ends because this is the queue always on this layer and it has a condition and it has a condition for seconds if seconds is less than zero and that's okay and I will put it up so uh, I'll subtract from seconds I'll sub subtract from minutes I hide this layer and I'll show this layer and now a trigger that sets a, a, a seconds to a 59 again when it's less than zero so a new trigger adjust variable which one seconds set seconds to value 59 when timeline ends and on a condition that seconds is less than zero. So that's okay. Now to see if this works, I'll go to my master slide. I'll select my text box and I'll insert a reference to my minutes variable. So I'll go to insert and I click on reference and click on minutes and you'll see now seconds minutes. Now I will put minutes in front of seconds this way and I will put this in it so and now I can uh, uh, close my slide master view I click on preview this scene and now let's see what it if it works I see it counts uh, zero minutes and this counts from 59 to zero now let's change the variables so for instance I set minutes to one and I don't want to wait 60 seconds. So I'll set the seconds timer to 10 and now I will preview it again and let's see what happens. So one minute and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and zero and zero minutes and 59 seconds. So this timer works. So let's close our preview and there was one weird thing that you saw when my uh, timer uh, seconds timer went from 10 to 9 now normally it's 0908 and now it was only a 9 or 8 so that's something that we uh, want to cover uh, and I'll show you how we can do that so I'll copy this text box I have to go to my slide master here copy this text box so I have now minutes and I have seconds. And now for my seconds timer, I'll go and edit states and I add a new state that says seconds 0901 add. And what I do there is I'll add an extra zero 
done at a good stage. So it, it I have my normal seconds timer and the O seconds timer. And now I have to add two triggers to uh, change the state of this text box to O seconds and back again. So let's create a trigger. Uh, change state of uh, text box seconds to 0901 and not when timeline ends but when a variable changes which variable seconds and if condition that seconds is a 9 so let's see if this works right now so I'll close my preview and I'll preview this slide and see 1, 05, 04, 03, 02, 01. But now you see there is an extra zero. So we have to add another trigger that changes the text box to the normal state. So I'll go to my slide master again. I'll copy this trigger. I set, say, to normal if seconds is equal to 59. So let's preview this again. Uh, what I can do is view slide master, go to my slide master view and put this next to each other. So let's preview it. And you'll see it counts down to one o. Oh. 0, 0.059. So this works. So now we've built our countdown timer in Articulate Storyline and we can do some uh, something uh, with the look and feel of it because now we only have two text boxes. So I can make it look like a, a flip timer. So that's the next step that we're going to do. So I already in another module had uh, had set a background so i'll copy that copy my background and paste it to this slide um, it's not on this slide but i go to the slide master again so i can copy it here and drag it underneath i don't want to see this box and that box and i also previewed or we made some types for the icons. So this is where the minutes timer will be. I have bullets for bullets and two variables, uh, two sh uh, shapes for my seconds. And now I have to add uh, or change this, the settings or my or for my seconds and my minutes uh text boxes so i'll move my seconds and my minutes timer on top of the two uh, shapes and now i'll change the look and feel of it so let's look at it so i go to home i would want it bold i want it white and a bigger font size let's do 80 so it will be really big and now i have to align it so that we are already uh, we also must do for our seconds text box so i'll copy on uh, click the format painter and click on the seconds timer so this has also the same formatting, formatting right now. Um, format it and align it. And let's preview how it, look like, how it looks like right now. Now you'll see that the second timer, that uh, um, the zero and the two are uh, together uh, and there's to some spacing in it so let's do that so i'll 
and go to my view again, slide master, and I'll select this text box, go to home, and here I'll go to more spacing and I add spacing expanded of or of 30. And let's click on OK right now and let's preview this slide again. Here you see it. You saw it only worked for my uh, first state, so I have to also uh, change it for the other state with the 09 and 08. So I'll select my second timer, go to states, this state, and here I'll also go to home, go to the spacing, I'll add more spacing, I'll set it to expand dot and click on 30 and click on OK. And now I click on done editing states. I close my master view and I'll preview this slide again. And you'll see my timer works right now. So uh, I can do some more formatting to look, to let look it look like a real flip counter, but this is how you can build a simple flip counter in Articulate Storyline. If you want to build your articulate storyline skills, then make sure you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in articulate storyline in less time. And I will know for sure it will help you because it shows you my exact process that I'll use for every e-learning module that I build in articulate storyline. You can, you can find my free guide on upwardonlinelearning.com slash free guide. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day!